Hey folks, welcome to Creeper's Lab episode 22 featuring Port Townsend. I'm R. Purdue, one of the resident ops for the Creeper's Lab Minecraft server. This will be my first video for the channel, so bear with me as I work out the kinks. Today I'll be doing a Creeper's Lab feature of one of our server's towns, Port Townsend. This town was founded by myself sometime before the 1.8 update went live. Everything you see here was a small Extreme Hills biome when I arrived. It took about an hour and a half to get here by boat. With the help of Ashalina and a few dozen pots of coffee, the entire area was leveled off and terraformed within about a week. For a long time, it was just me here, but a few weeks of mining and building saw the city walls three blocks thick and eight blocks high fully erected with functioning redstone gates, as well as a small personal residence for myself with an insane storage basement. From there, I undertook the horrible task of digging a tunnel back to the spawn point in the nether. Over time, a lot of time, and with a hefty donation of iron from Sad Trial, a tunnel with an automated rail went up, and now it only takes six and a half minutes to get to Townsend from spawn. Worth the investment considering it takes 40 minutes to get here by boat if you go in a straight line. Over time, a lot of people moved to Townsend, and now Port Townsend is generally the most active section of the map on our server with, unless I'm mistaken, the highest population of active players. A record we've held for quite a while. A big reason for that is that Townsend is far enough away for that it's kind of a pain in the butt for griefers to get to, so most don't bother. In fact, I'm proud to announce that we've only had one person cause problems since the city was established. Another reason for our prosperity is likely that everyone who's grouped up in Townsend tends to be very generous and supportive. Not to say that everyone on the server isn't like that, but we're focusing on Townsend right now. In addition to this, we've got a large public farm, a surplus of materials in case people don't want to go mining to build a basic house, a community center which serves as a good base of operations for newcomers, and last but not least, it kind of helps that an op lives here. Now, as you can see, there's a lot going on in Townsend right now. Decorating for Halloween has begun. Quite a few projects are in full swing right at this moment, with the town beautification project being the biggest. Most of the public buildings are getting a major overhaul, and a few of the houses are getting makeovers as well. The town's walls actually just expanded for the third time a few days ago, and a lot of general terraforming of the area is underway. There's a lot of cool stuff here in Townsend, and a lot of cool buildings, such as the Spleef Arena and the Denzel Washington Monument, as well as the Japanese Pagoda. We've even got, perhaps in direct opposition to the beautification project, a trailer park. But you need to grab a lot fast because they're selling like Garth Brooks t-shirts. All in all, Port Townsend is an outstanding city with an amazing community, and I want to welcome you all to join us. It's easy to do. Just log in at spawn, go to the nether portal, take your first left, go down the stairs and grab a cart, then ride the rail to Townsend. Granted, we've got a few other communities on the server, and you're always welcome to wander off on your own. Just try not to feed the spiders. Thank you for sitting through this video. I'm hoping to do more of these in the future, and my plans are to do a series of features on different communities, as well as do videos on specific players on the server where they'll be interviewed and asked to show off their creations. So if you'd like to be in the spotlight, join up and get to building. Then send a staff member a message. This is R. Purdue, signing off.